All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. This is hot off the press from my good friend, Mr. JB Razor. Uh, we got done shooting the uh, two gun nationals down there in Talladega, man. I tell you what, even with the worst, I don't know, stage, two stages, uh, ran out of ammo on one, uh, gun quit working at the very beginning of one of the longest rifle stages, and uh, still came in like 190 out of 238 or something like that. Which is not bad for me. It's what I'm really happy about. But uh, JB Razor sent me this thing. The ATF just put this out on June 7th. Oh, and that is today. 2020-21, the Attorney General signed the ATF Proposed Rule 2021R-08. Factoring Criteria for Firearms with Attached Stabilizing Braces. Yep, it's back again. So here we're talking about, well, I don't know, this little guy right here. Uh, this has enabled people to uh, utilize or take their AR-15 uh, pistols and put this on there. And uh, I guess they're talking about what it should be used for, the proper use for this thing. We knew this was coming, ladies and gentlemen. We absolutely did. All right, so factoring criteria for firearms with attached stabilizing braces, amending the ATS regulations to clarify when a rifle is intended to be fired from the shoulder. Yep, there we go. The proposed rule outlines the factors ATF would consider when evaluating firearms equipped with a purported stabilizing brace to determine whether these weapons would be considered a rifle or a short barreled rifle under the Gun Control Act of 1968 or a rifle or a firearm subject to regulation under the NFA. All right, here's what it is. What is proposed in this rulemaking? Question mark. But you knew this, guys. This shit was coming. I, I just laugh. I, I, I find it humorous. People are like, oh, Joe Biden's never going to take your guns. Why don't we just vote for him? Because he's never going to come take your guns. Well, guys, they're doing everything they can to get sure as close to doing that. Okay, the proposed rule would amend the definition of rifle and C in two seven CFR 478-11 and 479-11 respectively by adding a sentence at the end of each definition to clarify the term rifle includes any weapon with a rifle barrel and equipped with an attached stabilizing brace bam uh, that has the objective design features and characteristics that indicate that the firearm is designed to be fired from the shoulder uh, set forth a worksheet. Okay, they're going to put out a worksheet factoring criteria for rifled barrel weapons with an accessories uh, commonly referred to as stabilizing braces. The ATF worksheet 4999. 4999. Yep. Yeah. To aid the firearms industry and public in understanding the criteria that the ATF considers when evaluating the firearm samples that are submitted with the attached stabilizing brace or similar component or accessories. I'm going to put the link to this thing down below. Thanks, JB. I appreciate you sending this to me. Uh, been exhausted lately, man. It's been a lot of fun. This, <laughs> this proposed rule would not affect stabilizing braces that are objectively designed and intended as a stabilizing brace for use by individuals with disabilities and not for shouldering the weapon as a rifle. Such stabilizing braces are designed to conform to the arm, not as a buttstock. So in other words, you're supposed to be able to wrap this thing around. Now, proposed rule 2021R-08PDF. We can go ahead and that's on the link down below. Submit a comment. Here we go again. The ATF is receiving comments on the proposed rule for 90 days starting the date of the proposed rule is posted in the Federal Register. We will update this section when the proposed rule is published in the Federal Register. So it's getting ready to start again. You may submit comments after the proposed rule is published in the Federal Register by mail, fax, or you know the drill. Everybody's got to get out there and make these things. They tried this crap before, remember? They did. And what happened? They got so many comments. This is probably one of the most commonly used accessories. This is an accessory. This is not a stock, but the most commonly used accessory in the industry. And now they want to make sure that you know that you're probably not supposed to shoulder it. Is that what they said by that? Well, anyway, we're going to do the proposed rule. We'll do a video on that tomorrow coming up. But with that being said, guys, y'all let me know what your thoughts are down below. The BS that we're getting ready to do, the Attorney General. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> Come out with this stuff. Well, you know what? While we're here, let's read the proposed rule. All right. Well, 
I would, man. This is uh, 71 pages long. The summary, the Department of Justice proposes amending Bureau ATF regulations to clarify when a rifle is intended to be fired from the shoulder. The department proposes factors the ATF considers when evaluating firearms equipped with a purported stabilizing brace to determine whether these weapons would be considered a rifle or an SBR under the Gun Control Act of 1968. Uh, or a rifle or a firearm subject to regulations under the NFA. This proposed rule is a separate action from the notice on the objective factors for clarifying weapons with stabilizing braces that was published back in December 18, 2020, way back then. Remember, the withdrawn uh, and withdrawn on December 31st, 2020. No comments received under the withdrawn notice were considered for this proposed rule and no comments received pursuant to that notice will be considered as part of this proposed rule. Commenters will need to submit new comments in connection with the proposed rule. There to go again. They're going to do it again and again and again and again and again until they get what they want. Insert 90 days after the date of publication in the Federal Register. All right, yada, 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 yada. So this should be interesting. The back, oh, background. The Attorney General is responsible for enforcing the Gun Control Act as amended and NFA as amended. This includes the authority... Oh my God, just go ahead and read it yourself. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. Uh, but anyway, uh, here they go again. And anybody who thought for one second that these jackasses are not coming for your guns, well, they sure as shit are. And they're doing it with a big old smile on their face because old Chipman can't even define what an assault rifle was or is while he's serving as director. Uh, but he sure could when he was back there working for Giffords and uh, Bloomberg. <coughs> yeah. Go to Boy32. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe and hammer it down. So support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless his men, women, in uniform. 24-7 for our freedoms. Freedom's not free. Y'all be good. KB32, I'm out of here. Thanks again, JB. I appreciate it. Y'all, see ya. Bye. Write it. Write in. Respond to this thing. These jackasses. I swear to God.